Hello Year 6, welcome to the Science Department's transition video. My name is Miss Riley and I have responsibility for the Key Stage 3 Science curriculum. Firstly, I'm going to walk you through the department and show you the different classrooms and corridors and various facilities that we have to offer in science. So hopefully now you are um, being shown the outside doors that will welcome you into the science department. This is one of two entrances. On to your left, you will find a stairwell that goes upstairs to um, some of the um, D corridor computer classrooms. Um, and directly in front of you to your left is the first of the science classrooms. This is Mr. Hull's C1 classroom. Before you um, are allowed to enter the science department, so three minutes before the bell goes, we like you to line up before the double doors. Um, and then once it's time to enter, you can proceed through. Further along the corridor, then we um, continue with the C classroom. So this is the C corridor, um, quite nice and bright and airy. Got the plants on to the right with the big windows and um, nice displays on the left. We like to keep um, pupil work up in the corridors to hopefully inspire you. And any notices and th notices will go up there too. We then get to C2 and there is a little prep room, one of our three prep rooms. This is a biology one. Um, this would be off limits in terms of you can't go in there, but you might be asked by one of your teachers to go and ask for some resources, something like that, and you can knock on the door um, and they will let you in. Continuing down the corridor then, um, we get to C3 and then there's another stairwell here for um, access to the D corridor computer classrooms. There's a corridor that also runs through to what is my classroom, which we'll see when we're further around the department. Um, and again, you're not allowed entry through here just because we keep equipment in here. So when you're entering C7, which is my room, please don't do so from this side and um, walk around to the front entrance just for your own safety, really. Continuing through another set of double doors in front of you, if you have um, Mrs. Battle's classroom, which is C4. This is one of our refitted lab labs, a very nice room. It's got lots of room for practical work at the back on the big benches and um, all your sort of normal classwork um, to knit the door side of the classroom. Then we get to um, the main technician's prep room. Again, like with the other one, it's a case of if you were sent there, knock on the door um, and wait. But this is where our technicians get all our practical equipment ready and make up the chemicals that we use. And it's um, a storage room for all the bits of equipment too. Next, we have C5. This is um, the head of department's room. So this is Mrs. Bedwood's room. So um, hopefully for good reasons, you'll be sent to see her maybe if you've done a particularly good piece of work and um, she'd want, be wanting to see it and congratulate you on that. So this is where she mainly is um, when she is teaching. It's another refitted room, um, very nice facilities in here, including space for practical work and space for written work, so you're not having to work in the same space. Carrying further along the corridor then, we have um, C6, which is um, usually Miss Green's room, and you'll also see that we've got a little breakout computer room as well, which your science teachers might um, book for you, use with you during science lessons. Through to the back of the um, breakout room, we've got the science team room. So you might need to know the location of this room if you um, have any homework or something that you've forgotten and your teachers asked it to bring to you or if you have any questions. Um, we usually eat our lunch, have our break times in this room. So you'll be able to find us or somebody else that can give us whatever it is that you are handing over. Um, also in the breakout computer room, you have got the follow me, follow me printer. This is the closest printer in the science department. Further around then, this is the second entrance to the science department. So um, again, waiting outside this one in wet weather, not so great because it is directly open to the elements in the courtyard area that the year 10s and 11s can have their lunch. But if you 
are ready to ready for your lessons and, and you come there a couple of minutes early, this is where you would be standing before you're allowed into the science department itself. You'll see there's another set of stairs. So we're mainly all on one level, but there are a couple of science classrooms upstairs as well. So going up the stairs then, you'll reach the D4, D5 and D6 classrooms. D4 and D5 are where you would find Mr. Thomas and Mrs. Embleton usually, that they're their main teaching classrooms. And then we've also got D6, which is usually a sixth form classroom. So you won't be having any lessons in there yet until we hopefully recruit you onto science at A level potentially. So in year six, in terms of what you will be being taught, we have got six units that we cover. The first unit is usually called Welcome to Science. And Welcome to Science will um, teach you all the skills that you need, including practical skills, to be successful in any future practical based lessons. So Welcome to Science um, teaches you how to use the Bunsen burners and other equipment that you might not have previously been able to use at primary school. And it also sharpens our graph skills. We learn how to draw tables properly and how to convert that information, the data that we collect into a graph. We also then look at how to interpret results, so writing conclusions and also being a bit more reflective and looking at how we can improve the experiments that we're doing. What do we do to make experiments reliable? What do we um, do to ensure that um, we make it a fair test each time we do the experiment, thinking about control variables and things like that? The other units that we do in year seven will build upon what you have learned at primary school. Um, there are five units. I'm going to have to consult my list here for this one. So we have got one unit called X Factor. Now, all our units are taught in an integrated fashion with um, some lessons being biology based, chemistry based and physics based. Depending on the unit, there's different proportions of biology, chemistry and physics in each of the units. So you're not going to be being taught this is biology, this is chemistry, this is physics. It's um, a more integrated approach, which we found has been very effective. Um, and it allows us to keep everybody interested because we do tend to have our preferences in terms of whether we like the biology, chemistry or physics. I'm a little bit more. Um, so the first one um, is called X Factor. X Factor has got a little bit more biology in it than the other subjects. Um, not sorry, subjects, the other topics. And um, it's to do with diet, exercise, um, sort of body systems, things like that. Um, the next unit is called CSI, so Crime Scene Investigators, and as, the, as it sounds, this unit is based around a crime that has happened in the science department, and it mainly uses chemistry skills um, in that one. And um, very, it's one of my favourite units, it's very practical based, so you do a lot of um, little experiments like chromatography, distillation, and... Um, you'll be using this, these techniques in order to exclude um, people from being the perpetrator of said crime. And hopefully by the end of the unit, you'll have worked out which um, teacher from school committed said crime. Not a real one, I should add. Um, the next unit then is embarrassing bodies. Again, this is a little bit more biology based, this one. Um, and as the name suggests, embarrassing bodies, it looks at puberty, um, genetics, uh, pregnancy and things like that. And um, it accumulates in doing life cycles, including looking at how plants reproduce and looking at um, the sort of life cycle of different organisms as well as human beings. The next unit then is called Gadget Show. And this one is predominantly physics based. And the Gadget Show will give us the opportunity to get out all the circuit equipment. So building um, series and parallel circuits, look, looking at how we can increase or decrease resistance in circuits. Um, and it's sort of a technology based unit. And then the final one, I think this would be maybe my joint favourite with CSI, is called Dinosaurs. And Dinosaurs, um, sort of a mix up of chemistry, physics and biology in this one, because um, not only does it start off looking at the rocks and rock cycles and fossils, things like that, it then um, moves on to animals and plant cells um, as well. And that's a really fun unit, I personally think, to be being taught.
hope you've enjoyed this virtual tour of the science department and it's given you a little bit of insight into what to expect when you join us in September. We're all really looking forward to meeting you. The departments are very friendly, so you really don't have anything to worry about in terms of joining us. Um, we're really looking forward to helping you move forward with your practical skills. And um, I hope you enjoy your summer holidays. Bye bye.